in my opinion, this whole dog attack is 100% Justin's fault. He wants to be seen crying. He let those tears run down his face. Instead of wiping his, go get some tissue, huge hand, his long hand, and wipes his eyes, stretching his eye skin. I be about to vomit when Justin cries. Take it how you want it. <laughs> I've been watching, and I know you've been watching too, so come peek this. Hi, my Pete fam. Welcome to Come Peek This. I am Miss Series, and I am the Married at First Sight expert. I've been here since Season 1, Episode 1. I have my Master's in Psychology, so we're going to use some psychology, a whole lot of giggles, and some common sense to get through these reviews. Married at First Sight, Season 15, Episode 7. Whew. They gave us a lot, lot, lot to work with. We got dogs, we got bears, and oh my, let's get it. Justin and Alexis. Okay, so the couples, they're back to reality. Justin and Alexis get into their shared apartment. And um, he says, the only thing that's missing from this apartment is, is the dogs. You know, and Alexis kind of agreed because, you know, that's like their family. And um, this is the first time we see Justin express concern about the dogs getting along. He said, yeah, they may not get along like we do. You know, it may be an issue. That's the first time he brings it up. I mean, he's looking worried because he knows his dog is aggressive. He's looking worried because he knows his dog is aggressive. So he gets to Alexis' house. It is nice. I like her apartment. It's, it's her. It really represents her. I like all the wall art. And that's the art that she done herself. So the girl has some skills. And Justin's like, oh, you know, I, I want to take this one. She said, uh, how, how much you going to run me? How, how much you going to run me? He said, I don't get no discounts. She said, no discounts. No discounts here. Hurry up and buy. No discounts. I need the full price. But she said, I'll give you 50%. That's the best I can do. I said, I know that's right. Um, her closet is full, decked out like, you know, we expect it to be. She tells him that her dog is like her kid, you know. And Justin refers to it as a dog. She's like, no, that's 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 my son. That, that That's my child. And Justin said, oh, your dog? I have to agree with Justin with that. I'm sorry. But I love dogs. I love dogs. But they're not children. They're not humans. No. There's no college tuition. No. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's, it's, a, it's a pet. It can be a pet. It can't be a kid. I don't like that. They're not. And if you have kids, you're not calling your, your dog a kid. Totally different. Okay? <laughs> they, they walk around. Your kids walk around looking like you. And if you looking like your dog, your dog walking around looking like you, then, uh, eh, no comment. Um, uh, <laughs> so then we get to Justin's apartment. Alexis says, wow, we're in the kitchen, living bedroom all at once. I said, wow. wow. Justin's place is super small. He basically lives in a hallway. His apartment was basically a hallway. And he kept saying during the interview process how he can't wait to financially support his wife. And it seemed like he barely making it. His, uh, that apartment was a shoebox. It was super small, super small. See, I don't know if his words match reality. You know, I can't, I can't wait to support and spend my money on my wife. And but you stay in the hallway. This is something I want y'all to look at. Watch for this season. I'm gonna watch for it too. I want y'all to watch how, although his words may be well intended, they don't match up with his capability or reality. I want y'all to look for it this season, okay? Because that's what I'll be watching for. Um, he says, uh, he did have a decent patio, though. But as soon as, uh, you know, Alexis cannot bite her tongue. As soon as she steps out there, she said, oh, flight plan. Flight plan. She says she would have left if they were dating. If they were dating and he brought her back to that apartment, she would be like, okay, it's time for me to go. I mean, ugh. Ugh. Goodness. I mean, and then we meet Justin's dog and his cat. We meet Cujo. And, and the cat. I said, how he got that big dog, a cat, in him in that hallway? And you all, I am not exaggerating when I say his apartment is basically a hallway. I mean, what are you... How are you even... That apartment was too big for... I mean, too small for him. Let alone a full-grown dog and a cat? Ugh. No. Uh-uh. It's giving emotional support animals. It's giving me emotional support animals. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to say it. Yeah. So, <laughs> he says, uh, when, they, when they get together, he says, again, I'm really nervous about how his dog is going to react to, 
to, to her dog. This is the second time he mentions it or alludes to the fact that his dog is aggressive. You know, there were warning signs all up and through there, all up and through there. As soon as the dogs got together, Justin Dog starts acting aggressive. That dog, if you go back and watch, that dog initially charged through the door. As soon as that door was open, he was charging. Just that that rope is that that chain that um that leash is as tight as it can get. Cause that dog lunches forward as soon as he gets in the apartment. Y'all didn't catch that? Yeah, you you didn't see that? Justin dogs get close to Alexis dog, Mr. Newton, and starts growling, starts showing his teeth. And we all know what that means. And then this is what, uh, let me preface this. It's 100% Justin's fault. In my opinion, this whole dog attack is 100% Justin's fault. Because while that dog is growling and showing his teeth, this is literally what Justin says. You know, Alexis is starting to look worried. And Justin says, oh, that's not a violent sound. Uh-huh. It's not a violent... Once again, reality is not adding up for Justin. Your dog is being aggressive and violent. And you're saying nothing. You're doing nothing. And then you have the nerve to say, oh, that wasn't a violent sound since when? Where? Since when? In history, has that not been a violent sound? Delusional. And then the dogs get close enough. Justin allows the dogs to get close enough. And his dog straight attacks Alexis's dog. <gasps> Alexis run over there like, what happened? What happened? And then Justin says, nothing happened. Did anyone else catch that? The first thing out his mouth after he just broke up a dog fight was, oh, nothing happened. He in the bathroom looking stupid. St oh, let me calm down. He's in a bathroom looking absolutely stupid and going to lock eyes with Alexis and lie. Nothing happened. Alexis says, what, uh, what do you mean nothing happened? He chose to lie. He knew exactly what was going to happen. It happened. And then he's going to say, nothing happened. Your dog just attacked her dog's face. Her dog was bleeding from the freaking eye. But nothing happened? Justin put his dog in the room and lightly says, bad dog. And I'm not bad dog. See, Justin dog is the alpha and Justin is the beta. Alexis takes the animal to the vet and Justin wants to come. And she's like, nah, I'm good. He said, I'm so sorry. And then Justin started crying. Alexis said, I can't right now. Yeah, I'm going to do a whole video on Justin crying. Because this, the way he's doing it is not, oh, being emotionally aware. He's not self-regulating. It is weird. It is weird and it is unhealthy. The way he uses his tears and then how they constantly at a drop of a dime just just waterworks that's not normal that's not healthy i'm gonna do a whole video on that anyway so um the diary cam and then alexis does a diary cam we see that her dog is okay the eye is swollen though and it has to wear a comb and alexis tells justin hey i'm afraid of your dog so and, and y'all let's let's be real Let's be real. That dog don't stand a chance. It will be up for adoption around about this time tomorrow. Cujo got to go. Cujo got to go. Justin, we know that's your emotional support dog, but it got to go. We all know Justin want Alexis more than anything. And that and his dog is tripping. His dog is acting aggressive, so it has to go. You know, he takes it to a two-week training program. And, uh, you know, they didn't show it, but we all know that what? Justin cried in the car. He going to cry in the car. We all know they didn't show it, but we know Justin cried in the car. So Pastor Cal, he gets there, and he says, you know, um, there's some confusion about, uh, Alexis, uh, Alexis says, there's some confusion about what the truth is, you know, because he convinced her that her dog would be saved. But she, coming to find out, there's been several other incidents where his dog has been in fights, where his dog has attacked other dogs. That's why he was so nervous about them dogs getting together. He was doing, talking to the producers. Oh, I'm nervous about that. The whole time before the attack, he was saying how nervous he was because he knows the truth. Even though he convinced her that, oh, everything was going to be fine. He knew his dog was aggressive. He, he knew his dog was aggressive, period. You know, and then it comes out, you know, that she's been in several fights and he only told her that afterwards. So I'm like, ooh, mm, eh, you know, eh, I don't know. I think... It was, I know that it was 100% avoidable had he been honest from the, I'm totally on the Lexus side. Because then she would have not maybe brought, brought her dog there the first night. It would have been, it would the situation would have been handled different. 
had Justin just been honest and know that his dog is on attack mode. Whew. And then he gonna double down on it and says, Oh, those other attacks, they weren't relevant. Uh-huh. Come on now, makes sense. It, it it don't add up. If your dog is around fighting everybody, it, it and then it gets in the fight in the house and the previous fights aren't relevant. <sighs> Like I said, she is hot. She is mad. And I completely understand her dog was bleeding from the eye and the eye is now swollen shut. She said it makes her want to leave. Leave. I'm 100% with you. And then there go Justin crying. He cries so nasty. He cries real nasty. Like he wants to see. He wants to be seen crying. He let those tears run down his face instead of wiping his go get some tissue you always as much as you cry you should know when you're about to cry go get a kleenex go go wipe your eyes shut your eyes so that the tears just don't slide all down your face i be wanting to vomit i'm sorry he makes me queasy when he allows those tears to just run down and he takes his huge hand his long hand and wipes his eyes, stretching his eye skin. I be about to vomit when Justin cries. Take it how you want it. It makes me literally like, ugh. 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 So he's sitting on the couch crying, allowing his tears to slide down his, uh, ugh. allowing his tears to slide down his face. I'm going to say it like that before it goes super, super left. And um, she says that, you know, we already discussed if it doesn't work out, then you are going to get rid of the dog. He said, well, I should have done something the first time, the second time. Like we're watching the dog growl, show his teeth, about to charge, and he wasn't doing anything. So at least he recognized like, oh, I seen everything happening. The first time he snapped at him. The second time he snapped at him. Like what? <laughs> That's why it's a hundred percent Justin's fault. I don't care about you can get down in the comments and say what you have to say, but it's a hundred percent, in my opinion, Justin's fault. He should have flipped the uh the, the vet bill. Unless he shouldn't have to come out the pocket at all. Uh he said, Well, you know, it's hard for me to have to give it up. I didn't have, you know, Maya, that's the dog name, since birth. Well, you had since birth to get her trained. She's attacking dogs all through the city. It's a problem. See, that's the difference between a domesticated animal and a wild animal. Training. That's on you. we we'll see how it plays out next week. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you watch the video all the way through, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And get down in these comments. I always reply to my P fam. Let's get it.